Hi everybody, so today I'm just going to do a quick video on some differences on the new King James Open Bible that just came out and the new King James Open Bible that came out back in April. Both of these are going to be in the brown genuine leather, come in nice clamshell boxes. They do have really awesome features, so I'll hold this right there for just a moment in case you would like to pause and read some of that information. Here is the ISBN number on the KJV. So this one we can see right here, this one is printed in South Korea. And then we've got our New King James, which the full review on this one is linked in the description box and at the end of the video. So here's the ISBN number on this one. And then this one is printed in China. So I think that's why there's going to be some significant differences in the appearance on both of these. But they're both just awesome Bibles. So I wanted to show you some differences in case you already have this one and we're debating on getting this one. So definitely worth having both of these on your bookshelf. So first thing that you can probably clearly see right there is different shades of brown in the leather. So definitely a different color. So this one is the KJV. And I'm not sure if you can tell in that or not that that's kind of more of a satin finish so kind of like a matte finish on the leather and it's got a really nice grain pattern it is perimeter stitched all the way around the perimeter where this one here is got some highs and lows on the brown color also perimeter stitched which is really nice but look at the difference on that grain pattern between the two so and then plus this new King James on the right, we can see that that's pretty shiny. So really smooth and shiny on this one and kind of a satin finish on this one. But both just a really nice leather on both of them. So you might be able to kind of see the color difference a little bit better there. Really pretty Bibles. Now on the KJV, if I can get a hold of those a little bit better. So the KJV is on the left here. You can see that that's got a slightly curved book block, whereas the New King James does not. And one other interesting difference is the gilding. So both of these do come with three ribbons, but on the gilding on the KJV, which is gonna be on the right, we can see that's a really shiny gold gilding, but on the New King James, it's a satin finish. So I found it kind of interesting that the KJV on the right, right here, that's really shiny. You can see that hot spot there when the camera hits it. So really a shiny color gilding, satin on the leather, shiny on the cover on this one, but satin on the gilding. So that's pretty neat. The inside liners are gonna look really similar in color. Both of those are gonna be just a brown. They're both a sewn binding. But one thing on this KJV that is really awesome and should make you want to get one just because of this right here. So not only is it sewn, but we can see that that also has overcast stitching. So that's what we're looking at right there. Now the red letter in these are going to be a little bit different. So I'm gonna get you right here to where the beginning of this and you can kind of see right up front that it is going to be different on the shade of red so we can see that this one is definitely brighter where this one is a little bit more of a deep red so hopefully you can tell that there but we'll let we'll look at shots of the red letter inside the Bible Now another thing in this one here, is you can kind of see if you look along the gutter, so right down in here, you can kind of see that bluish hue, that blue tint to that on the KJV, whereas the New King James does not have that. So we don't get any of that blue tint on the New King James. We're going to look next at the poetry section and check out a small difference there. Both of these are just phenomenal Bibles. All right, so 
I don't know if I can get these next to each other enough for you to see the text. All right, so maybe right there you can. And I'll get the camera closer. So here on the KJV, we can see right here all these spots that I'm touching on. Those are where the verse numbers are. Where on the New King James, the verse number is set aside a little bit from the text in the poetry sections. So I'll get you a close up. So here is the New King James. Now both of these are going to be line matched with a nine point font. Very easy on the eyes. So here is our KJV. And so here we can see how those verse numbers are right through here instead of having that white space between them. So I thought that was kind of interesting and worth showing to you. And the more I use this New King James, because I've had this one longer, it just gets softer and softer. It is an amazing Bible. All right, so we're going to get here into our red letter and take a look at that. Now, if they had the same pagination and everything, it would make it a little bit easier to see, but they are different translations, so pagination is going to be a little bit different. So here is our red letter on our KJV. So I don't know if you can see that that's a little bit brighter shade of red compared to the New King James, which I'll get you closer, and then I'll zoom in on the two. So here is our New King James. So that is a deeper shade of red. And let's see if I can get close enough on both of those for you to maybe see that. All right, so you can probably tell from there that we've got the lighter shade of red and the darker shade of red. They're both easy to read. The New King James is a little bit easier to read but they're still both very nice. They're both gonna have nice concordance, maps and everything. But on our KJV, right before the map section, we're gonna see some more of that overcast stitching there. So, and then there's a close up where you can see that blue right there in the gutter. And that doesn't that doesn't bother me at all while reading it. And then that just fell into a really good spot right there because you can see the stitching there. So let's see if there's a so we can't see any blue on that one at all, but we definitely can see it right here on that KJV. But really just beautiful beautiful Bibles they're both amazing the covers on both of them are really nice so you can kind of see how much more grain that has because we've got some grain going across there you can kind of see that and a little bit different grain on the New King James so you don't get that on this one as far as when you turn that and it kind of makes that grain a little more pronounced so I'm not sure what the difference is really on those leathers, but they're both really pretty. I like the shade of brown on both of them. I don't know if I had to choose just one if I could because I love them both. Both of them are just awesome Bibles. So if you've already got this one, you definitely probably want to get you a KJV, especially with it having that overcast stitching. I mean, just an amazing Bible. So I've already got the review of this one that's up on my channel. I'll link that and then I'll be coming out with a review on this one here soon. So here is the ISBN on the KJV. So that one again printed in South Korea. And then we've got our New King James. This one is printed in China. But I just wanted to show you those differences because I noticed them as soon as I unboxed this one yesterday when I got it and I thought that uh, some of you guys might want to see the difference in there. And I do have a good friend who really wanted to see the text in the KJV. So both awesome, awesome Bibles. So definitely pick you up one of the two or both, better yet. 
All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.